right, hi everybody, my name is Dave from Eagle Brook Music and I'm here today to talk about Yes, You Are Worthy. So we're gonna dive right into it. Let's start off with capo position. I chose the E shape, capo four. The song is an A flat, so of course, terrible key on guitar. We want some open strings. Um, first thing I do when I'm playing in a shape is I find all the different caged shapes. So there's five different shapes. Some would say this is not the first, I'm, an, I'm old school, this is the first to me, which is. Okay, so this would be the fourth, which Jasper would say is the first. So what I do is I find all these different shapes, so now I have all these different little chord shapes that I can choose from, which so many of our songs have these partial chords. So. Figure that out. I think we'll post a PDF of the cage theory stuff so you can look at that in more depth. But basically, um, that gives you a framework for all of these little lead lines that fall into those shapes. Okay, let's dive into it. Uh, the song starts with just piano and vocal for way too long. There's no way we can sit out that long. So first chorus, if I'm live, I'm gonna jump in with just a little bit of a swell. Something like this. It's working now. Something like that under the first chorus. We don't officially enter the song until verse two. Okay, so a really simple line there. Then it moves to more of a... Basically it, this line is maybe the key thing to come back to. So going into that final big, it's really a big verse, um, I get this trim going, which basically the louder, what's going on here? Oh, it's off, sorry. The louder I go, the faster that sort of oscillates. At this point, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to start getting ready for the next part, which is the key of the whole song. This next part is like it. Don't do that. Kind of muted my signal. But basically, while the Ebo thing is happening, and this is, this is the most stressful part. If you're going to stress, this is the time to stress. So essentially, hitting this, holding this. While that's holding and getting louder, I'm gonna turn on my overdrive, make sure I'm set, and then it's go time. the biggest part in the whole song, uh, playing off this open E string. Just some octaves. First time I go, second time I go. Basically into that whole outro section, which is just big open chords. playing on these chords and then sometimes and ultimately 
coming back into... So if I'm lead electric on a weekend, I'm going to play this song here, um, provided we're doing the album key. I'm going, to, I'm going to capo four and play in the E shape. And the reason is this section here. I think that's the pinnacle of the song on the guitar. That's the moment where we want to step out and play with authority. That's the spot. And so our position needs to be optimal for that moment and beyond that you have this part which is huge it's also cool in this shape i would say if i'm a worship leader i want to be capo one in the g shape because there's a lot of open chords in this song in the g shape but for those for that lead line specifically you just <clears throat> you can't beat this shape so we want that open e string playing off that open B string too. So it's a no brainer. If you are interested, I'm using just a low res delay set for a dotted eighth. The song is 76 beats per minute. And so um, followed by an analog echo set at a quarter note. So those are the two delays that are working together. From there I have a short verb and a long verb, basically in the big sky. And then also a reverse that I use just in the basically one spot where it, instead of going it goes I just like how that sounds it's very subtle probably a waste of time but that's the whole point is we have to care about the things that no one else is going to care about that's our job um, so that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, man, this is a fun song to play. I can't wait to hear you guys play it. Goodbye.